having fun now. It's Friday. Okay. It's Friday. Okay, I'm back on the air at 1 a.m., but you know, I'll have a little fun. <laughs> well, fun in a limited time frame. How about that? Well, it is Friday. It is Foodie Friday. I'm Shannon. I'm in my favorite room of the house. That is the kitchen. We have your last look at our today's special coming up in just a few moments. But our Foodie Friday feature. I always have to be careful when I say that. Boy, I could flummox that very quickly. Um, this is a brand that I love. In fact, you know what's so funny? When I cook um, behind the scenes, this is the olive oil that I choose to use. But it is also coming with a two-pack of our balsamic vinegar. That price is good for today and today only. It is also on three flexible payments and free shipping. Allison, do we have a couple of the photographs that I could show? So um, unlike a lot of the olive oil that you see in your even specialty stores, that ain't what you think it is. This is not only hand harvested, family owned brand and company, still really done in that old world tradition. And trust me, there is a difference. It's interesting, while I do, I, I uh, do bread dippers with this, I make salad dressings, I do marinades, I do cook with it. It's good to the last drop. It, it's, you almost wanna drink it, it's so good. I'm serious about that. And of course, if you follow the Mediterranean diet, I, I, that, that's typically, I guess, what I do. There are so many health benefits to that as well. I know Andrew Lesman would agree with me as well. All right, our foodie Friday feature. There, see, I had to slow myself down. All those details with some other items on hsn.com. All right, speaking of foodie, we're to replace everything in your kitchen. I'm serious, this does almost everything but the dishes. You wanna dehydrate, you wanna bake, you wanna grill with no coil, cold, with no uh, grease, with no mosquitoes, with no hassle. You want the lowest price that we've found anywhere. In fact, this is even a better value than what we've done before, but here it is. It is your last chance, your ultimate kitchen replacement. It's our best buy of the day. Well, when it comes to kitchen appliances, there is no peer, there is no competition to Ninja. They are the leaders when it comes to kitchen appliances. And out of all of those great things for the kitchen to make our lives easier, this is their number one. But you could shop coast to coast anywhere in America. You could shop other websites. You could shop our website. We are not doing it for this price after this show. You're just seeing a small sampling on this videotape of what makes this so genius. First of all, it's better than set it and forget it because it even comes with a temperature probe. So no more, as Guy likes to say, if you're looking, you're not cooking. Seriously. So I don't care if it's medium, medium well, if you like your meat on the rare side, if it's pork roast, things that are a little um, dicey. You want to make sure, of course, that they're food safe, but you don't want to be, you know interfering with the cooking process, that temperature probe is key. You get the grill plate, which by the way, this goes all the way up to 500 degrees. This will sear, and it's that caramelization of the meat that really makes things, it makes the taste just moist and succulent and juicy. You are getting this air frying basket. Notice the great capacity. So anything from French fries to poppers and everything in between. And then you're getting this nice, um, uh, I call it a baking pan. I did cinnamon rolls in this earlier uh, this week. Actually, I posted my recipe. You can, you can grill your meatloaf. I'm gonna be posting a leftover meatloaf sandwich uh, recipe after the show. But the whole point is you can grill pizza. You can grill fish, you can grill steaks, you could do, you know, um, hot dogs on this. You could do corned beef. I did corned beef in this for crying out loud. And I, did, I started it before my show, before my show. So it's, it's done. So it is dinner in a minute, dinner with the taste and the sensation. I should also point out, you're also getting the kebabs, which is exclusive to HSN, the little brush cleaner and a nice little recipe booklet as well. And Allison, do we have any of the additional recipe booklets, bo uh, books rather, or, okay. So uh, you will see the item number four, uh, a little ninja foodie. They call this for beginners, but I have to be honest, anybody of any skill level will use this. Frankly, you don't have to have any culinary skills with which to use this. Let me show you colors, because I have to get Rochelle out here, because I hear my dinner, my dinner's cooking. 
I love the cinnamon. That red is just dynamic. That is, you know, red's one of my favorite colors. Well, actually red and purple. Um, Allison, how are we doing with that plum, with that purple? Okay, we have, we're calling it eggplant in the system, but we have the final 100. If you want the classic black, especially if you are getting that as a gift, um, black essential in every kitchen, then we've got the copper, and this is the wow color to me. I mean, it really, really is. So if you're looking for, you probably, you're like me um, I, on mine, and I actually have the original footprint. This is the XL, but it does not take up a lot of height. Gives you better and bigger capacity, but not um, doesn't interfere with your counter space. So it still fits nicely on a counter. I, because you're never gonna use your regular oven ever again. I'm serious about that. So you can bake, you can dehydrate, you can grill like nobody's business. And then the stainless has been, I think the most popular choice today. So Hannah, we're gonna be doing some cooking. Can I, oh, should I open this one? Are we ready? Because, oh, okay, can I put, whatever, brush it under the, huh? press it. Okay, so I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing some grilling. I'm, I'm gonna be doing, how about, some sizzle and some kebabs. Well, I should, I, I should, I should, I should leave it to the experts. Oh, okay. I should leave it to the experts. So Rochelle is back that my force in the kitchen. You are truly a ninja. Rochelle, we are ready to eat. We're ready to grill. We're ready to cook. How are you on a fantastic day? Oh, we've been eating really well today, Shannon, and your shrimp kebabs look really good. How about some French fries to go with those, too, because it really is the best of both worlds. It's the best of indoor grilling and air frying all in one, and that's what's going to give you that cyclonic grilling technology. It's going to surround your meat with super hot air, but it's also going to let you do your French fries and your uh, chicken tenders and anything you want to take from frozen uh, and make it, uh, you know, in 30, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, it'll be done. But What's really special about it is what you were talking about, Shannon, which is that temperature probe. So I'm going to walk around the front here and uh, cut into my steaks and show you um, how beautifully your steaks are going to come out. So you get that char grill on the outside, nice and pink in the center, and that perfect even cooking, that is from that cyclonic grilling technology. So you're getting that char grill flavor from the 500 degree hot plate, and then you're getting the perfectly cooked meats from that cyclonic grilling technology. So let me show you how this works and so once it's hot ninja takes the guesswork out and even tells you add foods so you know that that grill plate is going to be hot and that it's ready for us to put our steaks on so i'm going to put the temperature probe on it's going to take the temperature from two different places from the very tip here and then also where you see the little divot i'm just going to put these in my steaks and wait till you hear this sizzle it's going to match what you were just doing there shannon with your uh with your uh, shrimp kebab so i'm going to open the lid here listen to this you hear that sizzle, you hear that cooking, that's that 500 degrees uh, you know, grill plate there that is um, going to make that char grill flavor, just like you were you know, cooking outdoors, except you're cooking indoors, virtually smokeless. I'm gonna put a couple of asparagus in there just to make, say we have a vegetable. <laughs> I'm also gonna put some, uh, some mushrooms. And what I like about this too is that I'm not losing my vegetables into the bottom of the grill grate. Now watch when I close the lid, what happens? You can see the two different temperatures here. So this is the uh, probe at work. And so our target temperature for a medium rare steak is 112 degrees. The steaks are currently at 66 degrees. So once this brings it up to temperature, I'll know that it's done and it will go do do do. And I'll know that dinner is ready. So I love that it takes the guesswork out, especially for things like chicken and pork. Like steaks are a little bit more forgiving because if it's not, you know, if it's a little bit more rare than you want, you can always just, you know, cook it a little longer. But chicken and pork and, and fish are sometimes a little bit more difficult to grill. And so this takes that guesswork out of grilling our meats. Okay, Rachel, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm digging in. You don't have to ask me twice. Juicy, yummy, meaty, taste sensation. And, you know, in, in our family, now grill night is every night. So we are a nation that loves to grill. Okay, I'm going on in. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you an explosion of flavor, and that's just it. Unless you're getting those high, high temperatures, you don't seal in that moisture. So this is sealing in that moisture, you get that caramelization, you get those beautiful grill marks. I'm telling you, that flavor is amazing. So you get the sizzle, but more importantly, you get your entire kitchen makeover. You will do everything in this, I mean, I'm serious. 
you'll do pork loin, you'll do bacon, you'll bake brownies, you'll bake a cake in this, but you will grill like nobody's business. Actually, Mark, if I could show what this replaces, and then I'd love for you to see that if purchased separately, because this is the lowest price you're gonna find anywhere. This is sold everywhere else for basically $300. And remember, you are baking, you are grilling in all of its various um, temperatures. You don't have to break up the cooking process by lifting that lid. You are air frying, at least if you are air fry crisping. So your French fries, so your poppers, so your, you know, your wings, you're roasting, you're baking, you're broiling, you're dehydrating, and then you're grilling without the guesswork, without any of the mosquitoes, and really without any of the weight or the worry. You are getting everything for the lowest price that we have found anywhere, and that is for this show, and only as long as supplies last. So when you see that if purchased separately, what I need for you to understand is if you're not shopping at HSN, or even if you are shopping at HSN, you will spend over $100 more for this anywhere else in the market. So a $300 purchase, and I'm just telling you, if you only grilled with this, it would pay for itself over and over again. Grab it with that 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. We're honoring flex pays of less than $40 with free shipping to get this at home. You could do your apply and buy, in which case you're taking another $40 off. Why not? but it is a taste sensation. And whether it's doing the corned beef like I did or whether it's doing steaks for Memorial Day, you will use, you will love this. You, chances are you'll never use your oven ever again. By the way, it even tells you when it is at temperature, tells you when to add food. So remember, you're getting that grill plate. You're getting that nice deep reservoir like that. This is actually where I did my corned beef. So you could bake a cake, you'd bake brownies in this. That's where you could put your roast, any of your bakeware that fits in here. When I did the meatloaf recipe that uh, hopefully you can find and, and like me on Facebook and on Instagram, I've got some more recipes coming up for St. Patrick's Day, including the corned beef that I did. Put it in a bag, add some beer, hit bake. That's the recipe. I mean, seriously. But then you're also getting your air crisping basket in addition to that grill plate. The kebabs are an upgrade. Nobody else is doing the kebabs. That temperature probe is what's really key though. And that's really what elevates your cooking so you get perfect results every time. The brush to clean, um, you know, it, again, all dishwasher safe on the, on, on the plates, et cetera. And then that book as well. For this show, for this hour, this is your final presentation. Get it at home. I know you will use it. I know you will love it. Cinnamon, cinnamon. We have the stainless, which has been the most popular. Copper is just dynamic in the kitchen. Eggplant, I think we have the last 100, uh, last 80 there. And then we also have the black. So Rochelle, I gotta go back to you in your kitchen. You've been a feast for the eyes all day long. The thing is, you are a ninja in the kitchen, but you do not need any culinary skills to make this the best appliance to upgrade anything that you're making, right? That's so true. I mean, Ninja really makes me look like a good cook, <laughs> Shannon. So, <laughs> you know, it, when you get perfect results with your meats every time, uh, it, you know, it makes you look like a chef. It makes you look like a grill master. But you've caught my attention with this beer and bake thing. I'm going to have to look up that recipe a little bit later. But here we've got a pork roast that we did. And again, I, we used the uh, temperature probe to get it done to the perfect doneness. And so it really takes the guesswork out of things, uh, even for your roast. So it does have a roast function on there. Um, typically, you know, if you do this in your oven you'd kind of guess is it done is it ready it looks brown you know it looks charred on the outside but is it done in the inside this is going to take that guesswork out so you don't ever have to worry about having an undercooked meat ever again um so you're going to be proud of what you're serving your family whether you're having you know just a sunday dinner or you're having family over for holidays like easter or mother's day now this is a six pound pork roast let me get my tongs underneath here because i really want to cut into this and show you how delicious this is. Uh, and this pork is just fighting me. Let me get my spoon underneath it. Ready? There we go. All right, let me cut into this here because I want to show you how perfectly this meat is cooked. So again, you've got that perfect uh, brown, crispy, and delicious on the outside. Let's look inside. 
Look at how wonderful and delicious and juicy this still looks. I know that it's cooked perfectly because the ninja told me it was at the temperature that it was supposed to be for pork. Um, and so I, it took the guesswork out. I didn't have to look that up online. I didn't have to try and find a meat probe in my junk drawer. It's already built into the side and it does all of that thinking for me. So I'm gonna go over here and show you again the front panel and kind of show you how that uh, works. So you can see how you at home can do your own pork roast just like this. And while I do that, I'm actually gonna stick in here. Shannon, you're gonna love these. These are macaroni and cheese bites that we're gonna air fry. And so this is some leftover mac and cheese that we had. We rolled them up with some extra cheese and some breadcrumbs. We're gonna air fry them. But let me give you a little tour of the front panel again. So you've got air crisp here, which is your air fry. Roast, which is what we use to do that pork roast. Grill, bake, broil, and dehydrate. I'm gonna go back to grill here because I wanna show you the different proteins. And so here you'll notice this little thing lights up when you have the uh, probe plugged in. And so I'm gonna hit preset and you see where it says beef. I can scroll through here and also select fish. I can select pork. I can select chicken and it automatically has in here those pre-programmed settings for the perfect temperature for those proteins. I can also select nine different doneness levels for my for my steaks, for my beef. So whether you want it rare, medium rare, medium, there's two different doneness levels for each of those. So whether you like it rare or well done or anything in between, this is gonna get it done perfect every time. So since I have the macaroni and cheese bites in there, I'm going to choose air crisp. It's already at 390 degrees. You can go up and down in your temperature here. I'm gonna reduce the time to just 12 minutes. And then we're gonna get these air fried and wonderful and golden and delicious. And so really it's, it's gonna be so game changing for you once you get this home and you get your perfect meats done every single time. And this is kind of what it looks like inside. We're gonna show you what's going on inside the grill while it's cooking. And so this is that cyclonic grilling technology. It's surrounding your food with hot air. So you get that 500 degree grill plate, that's gonna give you that perfect sear, that char grilled flavor. But then since you're getting that best of both worlds with air frying and grilling all in one, it's surrounding your food with hot air and that's what's gonna make it cook evenly. You're gonna get that perfect coloring, that perfect temperature. It's gonna seal in those juices. It's gonna seal in those flavors and you're gonna have perfect meat done every single time. And so whether you're doing a pork roast like what we just did or you're doing steaks for Friday night or even if you're doing salmon or chicken. Let's walk over. Actually, we did some um, chicken uh, uh, on the grill as well here. And I want you to see how perfectly this fits on my counter too. All I have to do is open it up. But look at the barbecue chicken legs that we did. This was so easy to do. And we did it in the comfort of our kitchen. So it doesn't matter you know what the weather's like outside it is starting to warm up in florida and the weather's nice but the mosquitoes are ferocious <laughs> so i i prefer grilling indoors plus it takes away the frustration of outdoor grills so i don't have to worry about the propane or the charcoal or getting out those bristle brushes to scrub it and grill it this is very easy to clean the grill plate is uh, ceramic coated and so is the uh, baking pan even the splatter screen um, that helps with the you know smokelessness of it uh, comes off and goes in the dishwasher. So all of this goes into the dishwasher when we're done. Let me show you, I'm gonna close it again. Look at how perfectly this fits underneath my cabinet. So I can have this on my countertop to use for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, mostly dinners, but I also like to use it for desserts too. And speaking of which, I'm gonna get this started. I'm gonna get it preheated. We're gonna grill some peaches to do some dessert. So I'm just gonna hit start again and uh, turn it up and we're gonna grill some peaches. But oh my goodness, that looks delicious. Corn what are you beef. cutting into there? I mean, I'm telling you, Rochelle, I, I, it's so funny because um, I we, we did some last minute changes today to our show. And the fact that I was able to do corned beef now, I put this in a bag, I added a bottle of beer, the spices, and guess what? St. Patrick's Day just came early. I'm serious. So cooking has never been so easy. Cooking has never been so flavorful. Cooking has never been so fun. So now there's not someone who's stuck mind in the grill. I mean, see, that's the problem when it comes to grill night. I mean, first of all, it requires a lot of effort, a lot of planning, and then somebody's already always trapped with the grill. My poor brother, Ryan, he's the one who's always the grill meister. And then he misses all the good stuff because he's babysitting it. The other thing about that temperature probe is Ryan doesn't, my brother Ryan does an amazing job on the grill because I like my meat more um, medium rare. The rest of my family likes theirs medium well. So that temperature probe means 
everybody's happy. It's a crowd pleaser. You cannot mess this up. And I'm serious, part of the reason this, this, um, this corned beef got done so quickly is, and by the way, I'll, I'll post the recipe uh, a little bit later, and again, hopefully you can find and like me on, on Facebook, but that was in a cooking bag, add a bottle of beer, I hit bake. It even told me when to add the corned beef for crying out. It even told me when to add the food. The other thing that's so cool about this is, and I know you saw that animation or that um, support, is this is convection or cyclonic grilling. So even if you are good on the grill, this is going to do what your grill doesn't do. I'm, I'm serious about that. So this does what your grill can't do. And frankly, why would you? When you're getting the best results, the best price that we have found anywhere in America for this show and this show only. It is absolutely worth your while to get this at home, whether you cook a little, whether you cook a lot, whether you're still trying to maintain your New Year's resolutions. That's one of the reasons that we love grilling is that flavor, that taste. For all intents and purposes, this is smokeless grilling in the air conditioning with no mosquitoes. If you're only trying to eat less fat, remember when you're grilling like that grilled Mexican street corn, you're not adding any additional fat or oil or grease. But then you can also bake. I did, um, just because I was flying out of the house a little late, you know, I did cinnamon rolls in this. So you could do ooey gooey cinnamon rolls. Yeah, that's, I did the corned beef in, I put it in a bag in this nice bacon reservoir. You're air frying, so whether it's air frying french fries or macaroni and cheese bites or jalapeno poppers or just reheating a pizza, you can grill a pizza. I'm serious. With that grill plate up to 500 degrees, that's like a, I can't say a brick oven, but you get the whole, the general concept. That's cyclonic grilling and or baking. So it's better than your oven, in my own opinion. Then, of course, that temperature probe is what takes it to the uh, game changer. It elevates the whole thing. The kebabs are included. That's only here at HSN. Then, of course, we are including a book or a cookbook, but ask about the cookbook that you've been seeing at the side of your screen. We will be selling out of the, out of the eggplant well before that price goes up at midnight. And remember, it goes up to basically that retail price of over $100 more. The cinnamon, the black stainless has been the most popular choice today and then we've got that great copper as well for this show and this show only um if you haven't seen it it is the final presentation so this is your final opportunity grab yours now you know rochelle when you read those reviews it became a customer pick at the higher price whether that's here or or elsewhere in america the hardest thing we have to do is just to get people to, to get this at home because it's as goof proof, it's as easy, it's as tasty, it's as friendly, it's as fun as, as, as life can make it. And then the fact that we've got it at the best price, that doesn't hurt either. But you sell a lot of great Ninja products, of course, but this has to be one of your favorites. I, I can easily see why it's in top in class, even for the Ninja brand, isn't it? It truly is. I think once you read the reviews, too, you'll see everybody loves it once they get it home. And it's because it really surprises you and wows you when you're able to get perfect results with your meat every single time. It takes the guesswork out of grilling and out of roasting. I mean, look at these steaks that I just did. I put these on at the beginning of the show and they're already done. So you can see how they are, you know, perfectly cooked around the outside, pink in the middle, just the way I like it. And that's that cyclonic grilling technology that's getting that perfect cooking done this every single time. So I'm gonna take these steaks out and I'm gonna put some more in so I can show you how that works again. So here's our second steak. I'm gonna close the lid here just so I can get it started and get it preheated. But here's your um, different functions. I already have the probe installed. It's it's just right here on the side so you don't even lose it. Like a Ninja even thought about, uh, you know, storage. So it, it, it just attaches right here magnetically so you never lose it. It's always there when you need it. You have six, six different functions, air crisp, roast, grill, bake, broil, and dehydrate. We use the roast for that uh, big six top pork roast. Uh, Air crisp we use for the French fries and for the mac and cheese bites that I've got going in the back. It also has a bake function. I'll show you some delicious baked goods we did. But for now, I wanna show you the grill functions here. And when I hit preset, it already has four different proteins already pre-programmed in here with the perfect temperatures. And so I can scroll through and I can select chicken. I can select pork. I can select fish. Um, I'm gonna go back to beef here and show you, you can actually even select between different doneless levels, whether you want uh, rare or medium rare. There's nine different doneless levels, so there's two for each here. I'm gonna select medium rare again, and I'm gonna hit start. 
and you'll see it will start to preheat. And so you see these little lines here. Um, once this is done and that grill plate is nice and hot and ready for that sear, uh, it will say add food. So Ninja takes all the guesswork out of grilling and roasting. It's my favorite way to cook meats. I think that's why it's such a customer pick and a customer favorite uh, because it does so well at getting these perfect results every single time when you want that nice and pink in the middle, uh, char grilled on the outside, whether you're doing a pork roast, whether you're doing steaks, whether you're doing your chicken. I mean, and just look at all the other stuff that we've done here too. So this is the pork roast we pulled out earlier. It's a six pound pork roast that we did on the pork function. I used the temperature probe uh, and I always use it when I do chicken and pork because it takes the guesswork out. It's not undercooked, it's not overcooked, it's just right. We also did french fries and burgers. So no matter what the weather is, you can have your wonderful, uh, you know, cookout favorites. If you wanna do your burgers and fries, you can do your burgers and fries. Here's one of the other steaks that we did. So again, you can see that perfect color. You can see how it's perfectly evenly cooked around. It's, it's brown and crispy on the outside, pink in the middle, perfectly done. But we also did some baking. So here is a fruit tart that we did with some Florida strawberries. We also dehydrated some fruits. And so you can make your healthy snacks and save some money by dehydrating your own fruits at home. We also did some uh, air fried wings. Air frying is 75% less fat than traditional deep frying. And so that's why we love air frying so much because this will air fry too. But we even grilled some pineapples. You're not limited to just meats. You can also grill your fruits. Put a scoop of ice cream on there from your uh, Ninja Creamy and have the perfect springtime or summertime desserts. We also, you can also bake breads. We even did some little homemade um, pop charts. We did some homemade, they aren't these little darling pop charts. I can't wait to eat these after the show, but uh, we did some homemade pop charts too. So really the sky's the limit. You're gonna love it for grilling your meats because they're gonna come out perfect every time. But I think you'll have a lot of fun with it too, with air frying and with baking and all the other functions that are included. You will indeed. Okay, I'm going in, whether it's the corned beef, whether it's your steak, where there's potatoes. I mean, the list goes on and on. The food is literally melting your mouth. I mean, kebabs you saw us start this at the beginning of the show with, uh, I asked Hannah if I could, I, I actually like to get more of that char. So truthfully, they were done a lot earlier than this, but I like to have a little more of a caramelization on the meat. And that's the thing that's so cool about this. Dinner is done, dinner is served, but more importantly, it's a crowd pleaser because you're making them to everybody else's liking with that temperature probe. Now, here's what's interesting. When air fryers first came out, now remember, it's an air fryer. You can bake, you can roast. All right, sorry, Hannah, I was having a little bit of corned beef. No, don't mind me. No. What do they say? Don't trust a, a cook who doesn't eat their own food. Mmm, 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 but the world is your oyster when you have something like this. Hannah, thank you. The little red potatoes that I had to go with my corned beef. Do your grilled stone fruit. Do, do your dehydrated pineapple. Do, um, do your baby red potatoes on this. Instead of uh, roasting those root vegetables, do you love roasted garlic bulbs? Put some of our Foodie Friday feature on there. A little butter, a little parsley. And dinner is done. You know, I can even, oh, now I'm getting all fancy with my bad self. But the whole idea is you're not babysitting, you're not minding, you're not, you know, worrying and obsessing which part of the grill is hot, which part of the grill is heated. If you only use this for grilling, it would pay for itself. If you only use this as a spare oven, it would pay for itself. I have sold food dehydrators here at HSN for more than $189. If you only used it as an air fryer, it would pay for itself. So you have to understand, and I'd love for you to see what this replaces again, and then I'll show you the what you get, but that if purchased separately is also critical because this is the final show at this price. Replace your air fryer, replace, you know, roast. You'll, you won't use your oven anymore. You can bake, you can broil, you can dehydrate. When it comes to grilling, come on. There's not a better grill in America. It's the lowest price that you're gonna find anywhere, but it is only for this show. And with the addition of that game-changing temperature probe, as Guy would say in the kitchen, if you're looking, you're not cooking. So now you get perfect results every single time. That grill plate, of course, um, temperature is up to 500 degrees, even tells you when to add food. There's that deep dish bacon reservoir. Uh, there's that air crisping basket. 
The kebabs are a bonus. Uh, they are included with your purchase along with that grill cleaning brush. And then of course that little booklet as well. Ask about the cookbook. There's the item number for the cookbook in the corner of your screen. And then if you want the eggplant, we have a couple dozen. So a couple dozen on that eggplant only. Cinnamon has been one of our most popular choices. The most popular in the kitchen tonight has been the stainless. We've got the copper and then we've got the black. So I don't care if it's the Easter season and you're doing that uh, boneless ham roast, if you are doing steaks, if you're roasting root vegetables, if you're dehydrating, dehydrating snacks for the kids, if there's a um, hunter or fisherman in the family. I mean, again, there's nothing healthier than doing grilling. The whole point is you can grill. We are a nation that loves to grill, and this is the best price that you're gonna find coast to coast anywhere in America. So I hope you're able to grab it. Remember, it is on five flexible payments of less than $40 on your credit card. Free shipping, you could apply and buy. Unconditional 30-day return policy. Rochelle, you know, out of all the things that we sell from Ninja, and Ninja, of course, you did, we. They sell themselves. They are number one name when it comes to kitchen appliances. But out of all of those, this is their number one. They don't do it for a better price anywhere else. It's easy to see why this is such a game changer because this is our one and done. We are multitaskers in our lives. We need our appliances to be multitaskers and it couldn't be better than this, right? It's so true, it's so true. And you're investing so much money in your food, right? So when you spend a lot of money on meats, you want to make sure that it comes out perfectly every single time. But even if you don't consider yourself a chef in the kitchen or, or a grill master, even for something as simple as dessert. So I want you to look and see here, we actually grilled some pound cake. So we grilled some pieces of pound cake here. I'm now going to grill some peaches. I'm so glad that you mentioned stone fruit. So I have some peaches here that I'm going to add to the grill. And we just put a little sugar on the bottom here. And we are going to grill these peaches. It's only going to take five minutes. How easy is this dessert, Shannon? This is just peaches and store-bought pound cake. That's how easy it is. It's only gonna take five minutes and we're gonna have a gorgeous, gorgeous dessert. And so I always love when I can find shortcuts. That's why I'm keeping a mental note of, of your recipes too, because I know we both are, love uh, food, we're both foodies. And so, you know, anytime I can have a shortcut, I think that's great as well. So you can even air fry, you know, frozen foods from your freezer if you're looking for a quick and easy dinner. In fact, I think my mac and cheese uh, bites are done. Let's take a peek here and show you, oh my goodness, look at those, Shannon. Look at those oh, mac and cheese man. bites. Oh, they smell so good. I'm sure they are as hot as lava right now, but I'm gonna take some out and when they cool a little bit, I'm gonna tear into one. So let me get some tongs here and plate them so you can see that you can enjoy, you know, your favorite restaurant foods. Um, you know, whether you've got, you know, mozzarella sticks or French fries or, you know, anything that you really like to have, but you want to maybe eat it a little healthier. Uh, that's what air frying is for because it's, it's less fat than deep frying. You're using hot air. Look at this. Look, oh my gosh, look at this cheese. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. I, I heard your yum yum noises earlier when you were having your delicious uh, corned beef, I think. You're going to hear me eating these in a bit as soon as they cool off. And so, I love that I can make these delicious things at home. This was just done with um, leftover macaroni and cheese. We rolled it in a little bit more cheese because you can never have enough cheese. And then we also uh, put some breadcrumbs on it and then air fried it just for 10 minutes. That's all it took to take something that was leftovers and turn it into something that was amazing. And so I love the caramelization of the cheese here. I love that these are wonderful golden brown and crispy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Okay. It's kind of like going to the restaurant. They ask you how the food is just as you take a bite. St. Patrick's Day came early for me. I'm serious. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Beer in a bag, hit bake. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Beer in a bag, hit bake. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll be... <laughs> I'll share Hannah, because I love you. I love you. So can you imagine if I tried to orchestrate that before a show? You know, trying to, you know, and poor Hannah. Hannah, Hannah, you know, she she plays well with others, but especially with, you know, you know, Hurricane Shannon with crazy pants here. Because she never knows what's in the wagon. She's like, what's in the wagon, Smith? Corned beef. The meat wagon came to work, and guess what? The Ninja Today Special delivered. I didn't have to do anything. Bag, beer, bake, 
dinner's done. Let me show you what you're getting. Um, we have hundreds of you in the various forms of ordering. I'll, I'll clear the way for the steak with my little baby red potatoes. I will be, this is my dinner. So I'm gonna hide it under one of the tables. I'm taking it home. No, I'm serious. Okay, if you want the eggplant, we have a couple dozen. So a couple dozen of the eggplant. Cinnamon, cinnamon and the silver uh, stainless have been the most popular. And then we have the black and the copper. The copper is just so elegant. It's so high end. It just looks really ultra riche. And then remember, with your grilling, that grill plate, which I defy, I'm serious. Even if you are good on the grill, why would you? Because, uh, of course, all of the um, uh, components, not the unit itself, of course, they are dishwasher safe. But, you know, you're probably just going to rinse them off. That's what I do. I never put mine in my dishwasher. And then, of course, you get the temperature probe. That's what takes it to a whole new level. The kebabs, uh, those are an exclusive upgrade. Normally, you're buying those separately. And then you're also getting that. I did my corned beef in a bag with beer, hit bake. <laughs> <laughs> in this complicated recipe, right? And then, of course, you're getting your air frying basket as well, plus a recipe booklet. And wow, are we busy. We are going to take over $100 off your purchase. So over $100 off your purchase. It became a customer pick even at the higher price. And we are doing this for this show, for this show. So I definitely hope you can take advantage of it. I will tell you this, and Rochelle, I mean, you have been doing so many amazing um, demonstrations today. The thing is, we all get inspired when we watch these cooking shows, but at the end of the day, a lot of people say, that's great, but I can't do that. I don't have the skills. This, there are no mad skills required. You are getting as easy, as goof-proof, as great as it gets. Um, thank you for doing that for me, Hannah. Should, should I just use this to take some of the, the potatoes off? Now, these were the potatoes that I actually just um, steamed earlier, but I could have easily <coughs> just added some butter and some parsley. I'm gonna cut into that steak. Now, notice these nice grill marks. In fact, you know what, Mark? We have, we have the jib there. But you can see nice grill marks, just like you would get on your grill, only without any of the mosquitoes or any of the hassle. And Hannah, I, I have to say thank you because you know our, we have such a great kitchen team here, but they are experts. I mean, they really are. I mean, but they are, I mean, let's be honest. But this is something, and that's why I'm making kind of a joke about the corned beef. It's like throw it in a bag, add some beer, hit bake. <laughs> throw the steak on the grill, add some potatoes, some asparagus, whatever you got, hit start. I mean, honestly, Rochelle, it is as easy to do as that, isn't it? It truly is, Shannon. And I love how you're pointing out you're like, it, you know, if you're not a real, you know, if you're not a chef in the kitchen or maybe you're intimidated by grilling, this really breaks it down step by step. You even get a, cook, a cookbook that comes with it that breaks down the recipe. So if you wanted to try that pork roast, it's got step by step pictures in there to show you exactly how it's done. There's more recipes in the back from pizzas to meats. There's even grill charts in the back. So no matter what you want to make, Ninja, make sure that you've got it covered. So I'm going to walk around to the front here because I really want to dig into these mac and cheese bites to show you. Look at how delicious these are, Shannon. Oh, my goodness. Do you see that cheesy goodness? So I love that you can also air fry and get this nice and golden brown and crispy and delicious and make these wonderful treats that you love at restaurants, but a little less fat than you would, you know, if you were going to be deep frying it. And so look at all that we've done just tonight. Uh, we did the pork roast here. Uh, that was a whole six pound pork roast we did in the baking pan. We also did some burgers and fries so you can cook, you know, have your cookout no matter what the weather is outside, whether it's raining or snowing, or maybe it's just too hot and full of mosquitoes like it here is here in Florida. Uh, we also did some barbecue chicken legs. Uh, you can see one of the other steaks that we did there. It's got perfect color. That's that cyclonic grilling technology. So you're getting that sear and that char grilled flavor on the outside, but it's perfectly cooked all the way around from that cyclonic grilling technology, that cyclonic air moving around your food. We also baked. So we did a tart. We did a strawberry tart with the Florida strawberries in season right now. We also dehydrated some fruits so you can save some money by doing your own dehydrated fruits. We did some air fried uh, wings. Uh, so again, you can use that air fry basket for anything that you want to do, any kind of appetizer that you love at the restaurants, you can also do at home. And we even grilled some pineapples. So you're not limited to just meats. And I have some grilled peaches back there I can't wait to show you too. So you can even grill, you know, your fruits and stuff to make a perfect springtime or summer dessert. Just put a scoop of ice cream on it from your Ninja Creamy and you're good to go. But you'll notice the grill here says add food. 
it even takes that guesswork out of it because it is ready for my steak. So ready, listen to this. I'm just gonna put the uh, probe here into one of these steaks. I'm gonna use my fingers real quick here so I can do it quickly. But I want you to hear the sizzle. I'm gonna put this uh, in the other one, but listen to the sizzle. That's that 500 degrees, um, you know, that is gonna get that char grill flavor. I'm gonna put my other steak in here just like that. You hear the sizzle, that's going to be that char grill flavor that you love from outdoor grills except we're doing it indoors, virtually smokeless. I'm gonna add my vegetables in here. I've got my asparagus and my mushrooms. I'm not getting those lost to the fire. I'm not getting those lost to the grill grate. When I close the lid, you can see the temperature that I've been talking about with that uh, temperature probe. So the target temperature for these for to be rare is 108. It's currently at 66. Once it brings it up to temperature, it will beep and go do do do, and I will know that it's done. So really, I love that I can walk away from the grill too. I don't know if you have anybody that you know that loves grilling and they're the grill master. Typically they are like glued to the grill to make sure everything's done right, to make sure there's no flare ups, to make sure that nothing gets burned. This is gonna be done to perfection and you don't even have to babysit it. It's so true. And I mean, honestly, to perfection indeed. Now we did this to, you know, really kind of a medium um, uh, temperature. But the real key here is with that temperature probe, you could, Really, to your to your liking. Do you like it more medium rare? Do you like it medium? Do you like it well done? Even when you do things on more on the well done side, there's a little more on the well done side, you still get that juice. Juice, the juice, the something, something. Now, I actually added a little parsley because I've been watching that um, Devil Wears Nada Nada Nada. Remember how she has that steak delivered with a little butter over it with a little parsley? So even leftovers taste better when you are using your ninja foodie. And I'm just telling you, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm eating good tonight, folks. Between the corned beef and shrimp on a kebab and our steak, I mean, seriously. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And you know, parsley, we like to put parsley in everything because it really just kind of elevates it and makes it look so appetizing. Uh, you'll notice we use it a lot in our shows and I personally love it at home too because if you have some leftovers or you have some uh, some vegetables, you put a little parsley there and it just adds that pop of color uh, because you know, eating and cooking is very visual as well, right? So speaking of visual, let's look at these peaches. So we did some grilled peaches. <gasps> I wish you could smell the peaches, Shannon. They smell so delicious. It smells so sweet in here. Um, and I'm gonna add them to the grilled pound cake that we did. Super simple, super easy to dessert, dessert to do. All we did is we grilled some peaches from the store. We grilled some store-bought pound cake, so it's not even homemade. And now we're just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of caramel sauce. How fancy does this dessert look? And it was really just those two ingredients that we added a little bit of uh, whipped cream and, and mint to as well. So this is something that you would pay a lot of money for at the restaurant. And we were able to do it here at home really quickly and really easily um, with our Ninja Grill. So you don't have to just do your meats. I mean, it is amazing with meats. It's going to make you so impressed when you do your pork roast and when you do your, uh, your fish or your steaks. But you can do your desserts as well. It's, it's just amazing, Shannon. I think anybody that gets this home, they're just going to really fall in love with it and have a lot of fun grilling this season. They will. I mean, in fact, like I said, I had to fly out of the house uh, a little bit earlier than normal because they did some last minute changes to my show, but I actually did cinnamon rolls in this. Yeah, I did monkey bread the other night. You could do monkey bread in this. So even ooey gooey caramelized things because you get that nice deep dish uh, baking reservoir, but you can grill a pizza. You can grill your steaks, you can grill your hot dogs, so you can do tacos in this, you could do your ham. I did, I did that corned beef before this show, literally <laughs> put it in a bag, add some beer, hit bake. That's about all it takes, seriously. You shut the lid, you're good to go. Um, on the size, just to give you some kind of idea, it is, it, it is more than um, uh, easy to access on your counter, but it's about 15 and three quarters of an inch in length by about 16 and a half inches in width and then about 11 inches in the height. So really easy to accommodate on that countertop. And thank you guys. There's that final presentation banner. This is your last shot. So this is your final opportunity. It is your last show. Remember, then we go from Foodie Friday to Fashion Fridays. And we're doing this right here and now. Get it before we raise that price. Yes, there is that Protection Plus plan that's available, but I have to say, you wanna protect your heart, you wanna protect your pocketbook, then this is the perfect way to go. Because you have to remember, 
Grilled food and flavor is fantastic, but not all grills are created alike. And the problem with a lot of grills is that they just don't get hot enough to sear. And Rochelle, that's why we keep showing the sizzle factor, the, you know, that S factor is the sizzle factor because grills indoor or otherwise, if they're not to temperature, the meat kind of turns gray. This actually gives you the grill marks, the serrations, the searing and the flavor. It is that cyclonic, that convection grilling that elevates this to a whole new place. It's just so distinctive and so unique, but that's one of the things that just makes Ninja number one in the kitchen, isn't it? It truly does, Shannon. I mean, that sear is what's gonna give you those char grilled flavors that you love from your outdoor grill, except you're gonna get it with your indoor grill, virtually smoke, smokeless, no matter the weather. Plus you're gonna have easier cleanup too. So you're not gonna have to get the charcoal or the propane or, or have to scrub the grate. I know one of our neighbors brought their old outdoor grill out to the curb for the garbage to pick up because it was rusted. You know, that you don't have to worry about the weather with this. It's, it's gonna stay indoors and stay nice and be easy for you to clean as well. But it also bakes and air fries. So let me show you something else we did. We made some more of the uh, homemade Pop-Tarts. And so these we just did with a little pastry dough, filled them with jam and made our own homemade Pop-Tarts. And so you can have a lot of fun with it too. If you wanna do uh, you know, some homemade treats as well, you could bake cakes. And Shannon, I gotta show you, we're gonna add some, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the um, air fried Oreos. So I know we've got a lot of fairs going on right now because it's springtime. You can make your favorite fair foods and uh, have them be 75% less fat than deep frying. And now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of um, frosting on these. Look at how delicious these look. These look better than store-bought and these were so easy to make. I, we just used um, some frozen pastry and some uh, organic jam and made our own pop tarts. But Shannon, look at these. These are the air fried Oreos. Oh my gosh. So you're getting that nice and crispy and delicious outside with the Oreo in the middle. How delicious is that? I'm just going to drizzle these with some chocolate and some uh, powdered sugar. And we're going to have some nice fair food that is 75% less fat than if it were deep fried. I know I haven't tried air frying butter. That's the one fair food we have not tried yet. You know, we have, you get the deep fried uh, butter at the fairs. I haven't tried butter in here yet, but we might have to take that as a challenge. But I'm going to walk over here because I want to um, get something else to grill. But I want to show you some of the other baked goods we did. Uh, like you did, we also made cinnamon rolls in our baking pan. We did some cookies and some carrot cake. And to balance out all of these indulgences, I actually do have something healthy to show you too. So we're gonna do a really quick and easy um, pepper bake. So we've got some eggs in here with some sausage. So this is a really quick and easy, healthy breakfast that you can do. I think this is cool enough to touch. Yeah, I can pick this up and move it. Um, so, you know, rather than spending 15 minutes preheating your oven in the morning, imagine doing this really quick and easy, healthy breakfast. This is just gonna take uh, 12 minutes at 350. And so I'm gonna use the baking function here. It's already set to 350. I'm gonna lower my time here to 12 minutes and we'll get this wonderful, healthy and delicious breakfast started uh, to kind of balance out all these treats that we're having. So do do do, that means it's getting started. It's preheating. Um, it preheats faster than my big oven. My big oven uh, heats up. It takes about 15 minutes to preheat. This just takes a couple of minutes, but look at all the different little fun things we did here, Shannon with these, uh, with these uh, homemade Pop-Tarts and then also the air fried Oreos. I just, I th it, once you get this at home, you're really gonna wonder how you ever lived without it. I'm, I'm serious because easy to clean, easy to use. The flavor is, is absolutely fantastic. Whether you're doing grilled stone fruits like peaches or pineapples or you're grilling your corn, grilling your hot dogs, grilling your bread. I know Alice mentioned this earlier, but she, she was talking about how grilled romaine, like a grilled Caesar salad, those are fantastic. Your kebabs, remember we are including those kebabs. So you do get those skewers for no additional cost. That's an inclusion that nobody else is doing your hot dogs, your buns, then of course your chicken. And that's why I love that when Rochelle was showing those cinnamon rolls, you could do ooey gooey, you could do caramelized, caramelized meats or you know caramelized sweets. It's entirely up to you. Bake a pizza, bake your fruit tarts, bake your Easter holiday ham, grill your tacos. Steak is fabulous and friendly. Now these were little baby red potatoes that I actually made with my corned beef. But you throw them with, brush them with a little butter, maybe a little garlic, throw them on the grill. I mean, seriously, why not? Dinner is done. So suddenly leftovers are not 
left over. Um, I actually did a uh, leftover meatloaf sandwich. Maybe I'll even post that recipe during the show. So even suddenly leftovers are not leftovers anymore. And that's the whole idea. When you've got the right appliance, when you've got the right helper in the kitchen, even at $100 more, this would absolutely be worth it. But no kidding, Rochelle, that's why I say the hardest thing that people have to do is to just get it at home and try it. We're taking over $100 off. When you see that if purchased separately, remember again, this is the lowest price that we have found anywhere. The lowest price that we have found anywhere. If you want that eggplant, remember the eggplant, there are a couple dozen. And we have it for this show. We have it for this show. This is, oh, sorry, Hannah, I completely forgot about that. I was chitty chatting. See, I was just like chitty chatting. Um, eggplant, there are just a couple dozen to go around. I do have one more reveal. I thought there was something I was missing. See, Rochelle, you know, if you, if you have food on the set, listen, <laughs> all bets are off. It's just like squirrel, true. squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> all day today with me, all day today. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So whether it is that ooey gooey, whether it's appetizers, whether it's, you know, your mozzarella sticks, whether it's a cheese dip, whether it's that crowd pleaser, this is just a garlic bread you can do all of that in your Ninja Foodi and you can do it for the best price in America. The whole point is though, you do have to act now while we still have this uh, opportunity available. Rochelle, I know you've been cooking a, up a storm all day long. Uh, would you like to do another tour of, of the features, the panel? Yes, okay. I was just running back to check. I was just running back to check on the eggs. They're, they're starting to cook, but the steaks are done. So remember the uh, second set of steaks that I added? Let's pull these out and cut into them uh, so I can show you how wonderful this cooks your meats. And so I'm just gonna remove the probe here. It's still a little hot. You can see the steam. Let's cut into this steak so I can show you how perfectly it cooks meats. And so I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle here so you can see. Look how we've got our char grill on the top. Perfectly pink in the middle tender and juicy and that is because you're getting that 500 degree plate grill plate that's going to sear it and make that uh, char grill flavor but then you also have that cyclonic grilling technology that's surrounding the food with hot air uh, that is making sure that it cooks nice and evenly and you're getting these perfectly done steaks every single time but um look at the desserts even we did so we have a lot of different things that we cook there and i think right now it's showing you the different done this temperature or done this levels you've got rare medium rare medium well done um, so you can choose what you want your steaks to be. But here's some of the grilled peaches and pound cake that we did. So you're not limited to just meats. You can also do your desserts. We also did a whole pork roast. So that's a six pound pork roast um, that we did with some vegetables. And we used the probe for that to make sure that our pork was uh, perfectly cooked. So it's not undercooked, it's not overcooked, it's done just at the right temperature that's pre-programmed into the Ninja Foodie. We also did some burgers and fries. We also did some barbecue chicken uh, legs and, and thighs there that we also used the probe for to make sure that chicken was done at the perfect temperature. There's another one of the steaks that we did tonight. So you can see that perfect coloring, perfect char grill flavor on the outside, pink in the middle. These are my favorite. These are the mac and cheese bites and I can't quite reach them from where I am. They're just a, across from the sink, but I can't wait to take a bite later. And then we also baked. So it also has a bake function. So you don't have to use your big oven and use up all that heat. You can do your things like fruit tarts and dehydrating fruits and uh, doing cakes and things as well. Um, you can even grill pineapple. We grilled some pineapple. This would be perfect with a scoop of ice cream from your Ninja Creamy. Um, and then we also did some uh, air fried wings. And so that's 75% less fat uh, than uh, traditional air frying. So, you know, if you want, I can walk you through the panel again. You know, if you want two different steaks at two different temperatures, let's say one of you in the household loves it to have it at, you know, you know well done. And one's, one of you wants it a little bit more rare. You can do that too. So I'm going to close the lid here so you can see the front panel again and kind of walk you through how to do that. So these are your six different functions. You have air crisp, roast, that's what we use for the pork, grill, which is what we've been doing for the steaks uh, and that we also use for the chicken, bake, which is where we did our baked goods, broil and dehydrate. I'm going to hit the grill button here real quick here so I can show you the different grill temperatures. So there's preset um, uh, programs in here for beef, for chicken, for pork, and for fish, and there's different doneless levels for each of those two. I'm gonna go back to beef and show you there's nine different doneless levels. So it's got rare, uh, medium rare, uh, and medium. So let's say somebody wanted their uh, steak a little bit more rare. What I would do is I would cook that steak first, and once that steak was done, 
pull it out and then just move the probe over to the person's uh, stake who wanted it a little bit more well done. And then once you hit start, it starts to preheat and you see these little uh, dots of form. Once it's ready and that grill plate is hot and it's 500 degrees, it will say add food. But I'm actually gonna stop this because I still think I've got my steak and asparagus in there as well. So you can see how easy it is to use, Shannon, and that temperature probe really takes the guesswork out of things. It's gonna make sure that you have perfect meats every single time. Okay, I'm going in for more corned beef. I'm serious. I'm going in for more corned beef. It looks beef. good, I wish I could have a bite. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. Why do we only make it on St. Patrick's Day? Because it's work? We could make it year round. I mean, seriously. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, well, yours is here. I will tell you though, the eggplant, it is last call, y'all. So you can see some of the amazing things that we did, whether it's the grilled um, uh, summer corn, the kebabs, the hot dogs, that nice smoky chicken, your tacos. Uh, and Allison, if you go to my Facebook, I did actually post a, a brand new recipe during this show for leftover meatloaf grilled sandwiches. Um, if you find it like me on Facebook, actually I just posted it, it, it hopefully uh, populated on Facebook, but you could take your leftovers and make it into a sandwich so even leftovers are not leftovers anymore. Uh, by the way, Luana J, congratulations. Uh, make sure I'm doing that. Sorry about that, Mark. I left my card over here. Um, but Luana J, you are our social winner, our $25 gift card winner. So please reach out to our social team so that they can make sure you get some money to spend on us. And speaking of money, we're gonna save you $100 off, lowest price on the number one appliance from the Ninja category, exclusively at this value with the addition of the kebabs or the skewers here at HSN. We're doing free shipping, grill plate, that nice dip, uh, deep uh, basin or baking um, uh, reservoir, plus the air frying basket, free shipping, and five flexible payments of less than $40 on your credit card, 079607. Eggplant, at this point, we are looking at just a couple dozen remaining. And then, Allison, you said the next most limited, oh yeah, there's a meatloaf sandwich. Um, so it hopefully I'm even posting a couple of videos of how to do some leftovers. So there's the meatloaf sandwich, grill up that sandwich. Why not? Um, so I have lots of things coming your way on Instagram as well. So our cinnamon and minamin, the stainless has been the most popular, a couple dozen of the eggplant, the black or the copper. And remember, this is your final presentation. So hopefully you are grabbing yours before that price goes up. I know you're gonna love it. Rochelle, I tell you what, it's too bad you live so far from me because I would be driving to your house right now to get those leftovers. I mean, seriously. Awesome, awesome job today, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. I would love to have you over. We've got plenty to eat. <laughs> well, hey, any day of the week, any day of the week. Thank you, Rochelle. And don't forget the free HSN and QVC streaming services, everything you love about shopping and more because we've got original content, live shows, personalities, new faces, great products, amazing brands, and all while discovering the people and stories behind them. And you can always catch up on shows that you might have missed for free. Find it on Fire TV, Roku, LG, Xfinity, X1, Xfinity Flex, and of course, we're even launching more platforms later on this year. Shopping comes alive at HSN and QVC streaming service. I will be back tomorrow night. Um, in the meantime, don't hang up on our finest value of the day. Remember that price does go up by $100 after this show. So at least get yours here and try it for yourself. Now the last two dozen of that eggplant. Hope you've had fun shopping. I, I hope we tempted your taste buds. But remember, no culinary skills and no dishes required thanks to our Ninja Foodie. Thanks again for watching and shopping. Uh, find and like me on Facebook and Instagram, Shannon Smith HSN. I promise I've got lots of recipes for St. Patrick's Day and more.